Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this last video of the Graph series, we're going to view a real use case of the graph being used in Battle Royale Tycoon. Let's begin. So over the course of this series, we created this class which displays our graph. We have a bunch of functions down here to set the value list of the graph and modify how it is displayed. So let's see the graph being used in Battle Royale Tycoon. Here is the game right now, and I have several graphs set up. Over here is the food kiosk, and if I open up the window and I click on the graph, in here you can see the graph being used to display the number of guests that have bought food per each month. Labels on the x-axis are correctly displaying the month and year for each bar. And in here I have the stats window, which shows a couple more graphs. Here we have the number of guests that have entered the park, and as you can see this one is updating in real time whenever a new guest enters the park. Then I also have a line graph being used for the park rating, showing the bank balance, guest happiness, and guests in park, and so on. All of this is done using the class we created in this series. So now let's take a look at how the editor is set up. So over here is the food kiosk window, and inside I have the graph transform, which I converted into a prefab to be able to copy around. It has all the elements that we created in the series, the container, the background, and the various templates, and as well as the tooltip. And in here I have the stats window, which again contains the same transform with a different size. So now let's check out the code. So here on the graph I polished it up a bit and removed the code for the testing buttons. The functions are now public, since we want to use them outside of this class and the tooltip is no longer static, so we can have multiple windows working. Using our graph is very simple. All we need to do is call this function, the show graph, and pass in our value list. Now we could modify the class to work with generics instead of being forced to use ints, but for now it's simple and it's enough for what the game needs. And down here we have the update function, which updates a single value in the graph without having to recreate the whole thing. So let's see the code on the food kiosk window. Here is the code that runs that part of the window. As you can see on the constructor, we grab a reference to our window graph, and we also set the axis label X to display the month and then the year. We want to display that instead of just showing the index. Then we have this show function in here, which is triggered when the graph window is opened. We are grabbing the data log from the food kiosk. So let's quickly see how that class is set up. Here is the data log class. It's pretty simple, all that matters is that we have our list of values, and in each index of the list we contain the value for that month. So in this case it's how many guests have visited the food kiosk on that particular month. When we have a new month we add another index to our list, and when the food kiosk records a sale it triggers this function in here, which adds the value to our list. So when a sale is registered, the last index on this list gets increased by 1. And when this class registers a sale, it triggers the on add sale event. So going back into the window, over here, as you can see, we are capturing the on add sale event. When the event is triggered, we update the last value on our graph, since that is the only one that has changed. And when there is a new month, we call the show graph function since the list size has changed. And that's all it takes to show the graph and update it. Now let's check out the other window. And in here we have pretty much the same thing. We grab a reference to our window graph, and we set the label to display the month and the year. There are also some buttons to display the data type that is shown in the graph. So when we are showing that data type, we give it the list of values that we wish to display. This is using the data log just like the food kiosk. So in here on the guests entered graph, we use this list with a bar chart visual. And on the bank balance, we use this list with the line graph visual and we display the y-axis as a label showing thousands. And on our update, we simply update the last index value depending on the list that we have chosen. So as you can see, we created a nice clean class that is very easy to use. The game is launching in December, so add it to your wishlist if you want to see how what I'm teaching in this channel has an actual application in a real commercial game. So in this series, we created a graph from scratch with a robust enough class that displays anything in any way we want. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.